Hello and welcome to the Justice Factor. Last week, AMCU President Joseph Matunjwa led 70,000 workers out on strike, bringing the world's top three platinum mines to a halt. Today, we ask him if he's prepared to back down from the 12,500 rand per month that he's demanding for his members. But first, we turn to another burning issue between the ANC and the DA. Last week, the ANC Youth League warned the DA not too much to the ANC head office, which is the House, on the 4th of February. The League said this will be a direct provocation and its 400,000 members will form a human shield and defend it. To discuss this, we are now joined by the DA's Kumi Ramulufo and the ANC Youth League's Dr. Bandila Masuko. Dr. Masuko, I don't understand. Why don't you, when he arrives with his members, call him in, make him a cup of tea, and say, what can I do for you? I think it's a surprising uh, form of uh, engagement uh, that we are seeing. I think in, the, in modern democracy, it's the first time we see a protest uh, being used as a form of engagement. No, it's not engagement. the first time. We've, gone with, we've seen the same guys go to, um, uh, to the Kosati head office. Yes, we saw what happened afterwards, and uh, I'm sure that uh, with that in, in mind, they should know that uh, it could be seen as very provocative. But we are prepared to engage them on our manifesto as they have issues of that. You're being provocative? About it. Not at all. We're actually showing the, I mean, South Africans, what is the DA offer in contrast with what the ANC has given. They already launched their manifesto. We hope that, I mean, they will allow us... But they us didn't march to your office, did they? I mean, did you march to the DA? Did I miss something? They don't see a need. We see a need. That's why we're going to their, I mean, to them, because they are currently in government, and they put a plan to say, this is how they're going to create jobs. And we are saying we have got real jobs, not opportunities, as they're presenting. And we believe that it's a constitutional thing. We ask for permission from the municipality. Municipality is busy processing that. Why are they saying it's provocative? Because we're doing it within the rule of law, and that is what they will expect them to accept us and probably give us coffee, if, as you suggested. But uh, there's nothing wrong from us what we tend to do. So why is it provocative? It's ordinary South African citizens, Bandile, and they're going to uh, go and uh, you know, deliver a memorandum, unless you want to tell us that the ANC is a violent organization. Never. We are not a violent organization. We know what violence does. We know what, what this protest can do uh, in terms of getting out of hand, and we know that they don't have experience of, uh, of, such, uh, of, of organizing such protest. But I'm just saying that it's a, it's, an, it's a very provocative way of trying to engage, and we are not saying that we are not... Uh, prepared to engage. We want to engage. No, them. but why we are you, know pro that why are you provoked? I mean, you say you're going to create uh, six million jobs in the next five years through expanded public works. Probably, you should be proud. You should take him in and explain to him why you're going to do it. Let's debate. There are, no, there are a number of platforms where they can raise this. Why issue. aren't you he's debating in, him? Cancer, why are you going there? He's yeah, in, he's in we're National using, Assembly. He's in a number of platforms. This one is one way of marching. So, why they want to define us or give us only one space to say, only engage us on this one? I mean, we're saying that whatever we're doing is peaceful. They must just accept us. So I'm sure, I mean, the most worry which they're having is the number of masses which are going to bring there. Because they never thought that the DA will actually do that. And we actually took them by surprise when we do the youth, I mean, youth, I mean, youth wage subsidy march. And now they're worried that, you know, we have more numbers and they are more worried because they keep on telling that uh, things will change and things are not changing. So I think that is why they're actually more worried of. They're not worried about us. Uh, I mean, presenting alternative offers. They're worried about the votes, <laughs> and smirking. that's what they're worried of. It's rent a crowd. We know that's what that's what they do. They rent a crowd. They rent leadership. They've got posers as leaders, and it's okay. They, they it's always a dying rent. organization. You, you know, know, in their manifesto, a thirty-seater stadium can't be filled here in this province. So that is an indication of where they. I mean, they are, and they are worried. They are saying, if you are bleeding, bleed. The DA is here. We are ready. We want to offer alternatives. And that is what we're saying. ANC, just watch us. We will be giving what is best for South Africans. And because they probably run out of ideas, that is what they tend to re resort to. And we believe as an organization, they've got leadership. They need to tell their membership to say, allow this I mean, organization coming our way. They are presenting a memorandum. It's an organization which is presenting Kume, something different can I, from let, us. Me, let me interrupt you. There is an election coming up. You have the chance to put up your posters to do all this electioneering, but you choose, instead of, of telling me how you're going to create jobs, you choose to march to the ANC. This is a stunt, really. This is g like marching to Ngandla and just showing up and knowing that, oh, something's going to happen, and I'll be in the papers and on TV. Not really. I mean, if that is the case, I mean, wh I mean what we're doing is, these are the offers which both parties are actually giving. So we need voters to actually make that. Yeah, but that why are you marching today? So we, we will have 
No, ANC has, I mean, launched their manifesto as an ANC, as an organization. Mm. The DA is going to launch the DA manifesto, but because we know what is contained before the launch, we are saying what we are actually offering South African is not enough. We are giving <laughs> South Africans... Maybe you can't get 50,000 people to come to your manifesto launch, so you're trying to We're going to, to have that. Of their glory, Just it? probably to dis uh, disclose what, I mean, those are the plans which are all coming. So we're going to launch our manifesto. But you will see the numbers. The we are going to put posters. Uh, the, they are all ready. So all the, I mean, the election campaigns, uh, strategies or tactics are already I'll put in place. it to you that you guys have run out of ideas. And the only thing you can do is to go up to the INC, hope that the ANC does something uh, uh, unintelligent. And then, and then you'll be, you, you're fine. You define yourself by the ANC instead of telling, I don't know how you're going to give me six million jobs. I know yeah. that what they're saying, they're going to throw money at the program. It's where, I mean, you know, I mean, first is contained there. But one thing which probably also forgot, when we did the same, I mean, similar march to Cosato House, mm -hmm. people were asking, why to Cosato? Because Cosato is not government. And we said they're a barrier to job creation. And what happened? At the end, ANC implemented the policies which you come up with. People, so got, here, what people got injured. Are you happy with that? We are not happy, but that's why we're saying they must behave. Are you going to be happy if people get injured? Not at all, and we are not expecting any uh, violence or any intimidation. That's why we're no, saying no, he's, say, he's, uh, he's saying he's going to form a, a human shield uh, to stop you from attacking. We're not going to attack. We, don't, we didn't even attack them. So that's why we're saying our march is peaceful, and they should accept people who are not fighting. And we hope that the law enforcement agencies will play their part in this instance. So we need to see them accepting us. This is democracy. Bani and you Lema can even Suki. see in their man manifesto, they're yeah, all talking let about... Let me give Vanille a chance to speak. 28 March 1994, 19 people died at the ANC head office at the time called Shell House. Those people were IFP marchers who marched on, uh, on the ANC. Is this what's going to happen? I don't think the ANC will do that. But you said your we, members must come and defend the... We, we, we are just saying that we are going to act on the provocation. And in acting against the provocation is that we are going to have a bigger crowd to swim them, to make sure that they are not uh, shown because they are rent a crowd. Up, no, no, they, they are rent a crowd that they are going to bring. It's not going to overwhelm uh, in the members that will be there of the Youth League. And we are just saying that they have got a number of, a number of platforms to raise their issues. A march has always been seen as a protest action, and I'm not sure what are they protesting against because they have to put their issues across. But do you believe this manifesto. is a mature democracy? I think we are getting there. You know, the 20 years into democracy, so in we a are getting democracy, there. But in, I can in, march to your head office. No, in a matured part. democracy, we've got other platforms to raise issues, to debate issues, not on a march. March has always been seen as a protest. That's why he's actually saying it's supposed to be peaceful because marches have always been defined so as protest. So it's you don't need to defend yourself? But they, they've always been defined as protest. So what are they protesting about? Maybe that's the question that we need to ask you. What is your grievance to the ANC? If you want to showcase your manifesto, well, show us your, your manifesto. What yeah. is the issue? I think well, it's a fair question. Yeah, what we are saying is they are promising opportunities, job opportunities, six million job opportunities mm -hmm. instead of real jobs. That's what we're actually but going to do. But they're saying this to me, the voter. Why aren't you telling me this stuff instead of going to but them? We've That's why we're also telling the voters, so that they must make an informed decision. No, you're not telling them the, the that voters. That is one way of telling You are the marching voters. to the ANC to yes. protest against what? But you are saying you're going to attack these people. No, we're not going to say. We're you not are saying 400,000 people will come out on the day. We are going and to. And they're going to arrive. Yes, then it means that people. we are going to come out and showcase our manifesto. And then the 400 people. No, never. The NC has never How can been you a violent guarantee me that there won't be any violence? We guarantee you that it's not going to be a violence. We can also guarantee that if they don't come, they will never. This, even this debate wouldn't even arise. If, but if they, people they die, are, if it's people small, die on that day, on the fourth of February, or people get injured, will it have been worth it that you decided to? It's do small that? parties no, like not, this not ones really. that I mean, take advantage. We don't want people to lose uh, their lives when they're actually expressing their views in a democratic state like ours. And we need to protect and defend their rights. So if they want to so present, he says make he needs presentation. To defend and protect his organization. But uh, gentlemen, I see we've <laughs> run out of time. I'm so sorry. Uh, I hope next Monday it will all be good and peaceful and that both of you will shake hands and have tea I, or I, coffee. I just hope they don't come with the rented we, crowd and we will be having our members there and we'll overwhelm we them and, and we'll talk discipline. about our Thank manifesto. You very much, Kumira Mulefa. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. After the break, we ask AMCU President Joseph Matunja whether there will be another Americana. News that moves. ENCA.com.